All Academy. Always with you. Hello, my dear students. Welcome to this online video lecture on basic thermodynamics. So, in the previous session, we have solved the sum of the numericals on the temperature measurement concept. And today also, we are going to solve the, the numericals on this temperature measurement concept. And similar kind of numericals are appeared in your previous university examination. So, without wasting much time, let us begin with a numerical. So, the problem statement is a thermocouple with a test junction at T degree Celsius on a gas thermometer and cold junction at 0 degree Celsius gives the output EMF as per the following relation that is E is equal to 0 0.20 T minus 5 into 10 raised to minus 4 T square that is in millivolts that is E will be in millivolts where T is a temperature. The millivolt meter is calibrated at ice point and steam point. What temperature would this thermometer shows when the gas thermometer reads 70 degree Celsius? Now in this, in this numerical, so let us take, I will just explain you with the help of some example. Now let us take a glass of uh, any hot fluid, okay, any hot fluid and when I use the gas thermometer to measure this temperature when I use gas thermometer it is showing 70 degree Celsius as it is given when I use the gas thermometer it reads 70 degree Celsius now if I use the thermocouple if I use the thermocouple what temperature it will be showing that I need to identify what will be the temperature of this fluid when I use thermocouple that I need to identify. Now the relation between this thermocouple, the relation for this thermocouple and temperature output is given. That is the given thing. I will write it. Given that is E will be equal to 0 0.20 T minus 5 into 10 raised to minus 4 T square. Okay. Now again the uh, one more given thing is the ice point temperature is given that is 0 degree Celsius then steam point temperature is given that is 100 degree Celsius okay now the one more temperature is given that is 70 degree unknown temperature on gas thermometer now this is a relation between the thermocouple now I need to first identify the EMF that is in millivolts for ice point and steam point now at ice point at ice point that is t will be equals to 0 now i should use the e equals to 0 0.20 into 0 minus 5 into 10 raised to minus 4 0 square now you will get e at ice point that is i will take it e i will be equals to 0 now this is a one identification now, similarly at steam point at steam point that is T will be equals to 100 degree Celsius now calculate E that is I will take E yes that is 0 0.20 into 100 minus 5 into 10 raised to minus 4 100 square now you will get uh, E value around that is E steam point value around 15 milli volt Okay. Now we have identified the EMF at steam point then the output EMF at ice point. Okay. Now similarly, now similarly at given temperature that is at 70 degree Celsius that is I will take as E uh, that is I will take as ET I will take it that given temperature I will measure that is this E value that is EMF value 20 into 70 then 5 minus 5 into 10 raised to minus 4 into 70 square now the ET value that is at known temperature value is around you will get it 11 point you will get it 
you will get it 11 point uh, around 5 5 milli volt now i have identified the three values one is that is emf at ice point emf at steam point and emf at known temperature but this is not our actual final answer i need to identify the the temperature i need to identify this temperature i need to identify now for that one so we need to use the temperature relationship but there is no relationship given so i'll directly consider as a linear scale okay i will take it as a uh, linear scale that is t will be equals to t will be equals to 100 that is e that is unknown parameter emf that is ei that is emf at steam point then emf at sorry emf at steam point minus emf at ice point okay this is a equation relation we need to use this is a e at known temperature then this is a e at uh, ice point and e at uh, ice point and e, the emf at steam point now we have all these value let us substitute that t will be equals to 100 then emf at ice point that is a known point is 11.55 minus emf at ice point is 0 divided by emf at steam point is 15 minus emf at ice point will be 0 now if you simplify this one you will get a temperature around 76.7 or 76.66 degree celsius now this is our temperature means this is a temperature on thermocouple okay means when the gas thermometer when the gas thermometer shows 70 degree celsius this thermocouple that is thermocouple couple showing a 76.66 degree celsius okay this is our final answer now how the marks will be given if it is asked for eight marks if it is asked for eight or oh sorry if it is asked for six marks so the one one marks will be given here one one marks one marks then one marks then the one marks for the simplification and substitution and the final answer two marks okay so this is how the marks will be distributed so generally this question is asked four marks or five maximum five marks okay so now you got this question so let us move to the next one and the next question is uh, the resistance winding of the resistance then the next question is the resistance of the winding in the certain motor is found to be 80 ohms at a room temperature of 25 degree celsius when operating at full load under steady state condition the motor switched off the motor is switched off and the resistance of winding is measured immediately was found to be 95 ohms the resistance of a material of winding at a temperature t degree celsius is given by rt will be equal to that is a temperature and resistance relation that is rt will be equals to r naught into 1 plus 0 0.00395 t where t is a temperature and r naught is a constant value now find the temperature attained by the coil during full load now this is a, a very simple question but you need to understand what is exactly the question is because hardly only two step uh, answer is there but you need to uh, analyze what should be identified now in this problem so there is a given i will write it okay i will take color i'll change the color okay now in this one uh, what is a given thing so he has given the temperature and resistance equation that is rt will be equals to r naught 1 plus 0 0.0000395 000 t so he has given some temperature okay he has given some temperature relation with a resistance now here the t is a temperature r naught is a constant value i need to identify so he says that it's the resistance winding showing 80 ohms at room temperature means uh, that is rt it is 80 ohms at 25 degree celsius now at full load at full load okay that is full load rt is showing 95 ohms 
I need to identify this temperature. Okay, I need to what will be this the temperature when it is showing full load? What will be the temperature I need to identify? So that I need to identify in this numerical. Now we are having the two temperature and the one uh, ohm at one condition. Similarly, the the resistance the the resistance winding at another condition. But I don't know what is the temperature for that one. So I will take the equation directly write it. Okay, I'll write that is at twenty five degrees Celsius. At twenty five degrees Celsius, what is our main equation? That is R T will be equals to R naught into one plus zero point zero zero three nine five T. Okay, this is our main at at twenty five degrees Celsius. As it is clearly given in the problem statement, it is showing. 80 ohms and R naught is a constant value. It is clearly mentioned. Then 0.0039 for you. T value is a 25 degree Celsius. Okay, this is a given. Now similarly, at full load condition, but I don't know what is the temperature. At full load condition, it is showing 90 for you ohms and R naught same thing. Then 0. 0.00395. I don't know what is a full load condition temperature. Okay. Now I have. If I divide, let us consider this as equation one and this as equation two. Let us divide. Let us divide equation one by equation two. That is, 80 divided by 95 will be equals to R naught. Then R naught plus sorry into one plus zero point zero zero three nine five twenty five. Then one plus zero point zero zero three nine five T F L. Okay. Now if I simplify this one, if I simplify this equation here, R naught and R naught will get cancelled. The left out term will be. The eighty by ninety five and these value. So now you can easily identify the TFL that is temperature temperature at full load at full load you can easily identify that will be in temperature in degree Celsius. So I will just leave a blank for this answer. So you should calculate and comment this. Uh, answer for this question. So already the steps are given. Everything I have substituted. Only you need to calculate this TFL value. So you need to comment the answer for this. Find the answer for this one. So just you need to take a calculator and substitute all these value and simplify. Find the answer for this one. And this question is asked for a two asked for couple of times and it is for four marks they have asked. Okay. So for this calculation for these equation. Uh, one one marks will be given, and here directly two marks will be the final answer. Two marks for final answers. So I have left this blank. You need to calculate and you need to comment the correct answer. Okay. So hope dear students, uh, you have got, you have we have solved the uh, different type of numericals and this session as well as in previous session. Still, if you are finding any difficulty in understanding these numericals, you can comment it in a comment box, and I will try to clarify your doubts. Or I will try to solve more number of numericals if you want it. So uh, in the next module, in the next session, we'll start with a module two that is uh, work and heat and the first law of thermodynamics. Click on subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates from All Academy.